Hello everyone, welcome back. So for this video we are going to um, do a geometric application problem. Okay, so here we are, we have an equilateral, equilateral triangle. So what do you know about an equilateral triangle? That's the first thing that you should ask yourself. Well, for an equilateral triangle, the, si the sides are all the same length. So we can use this type of symbol, just a single line, to indicate that uh, the three sides are the same length. So let's find out the, the length of this one with the two given points, remember? How do we do that? We use the distance formulas. Yes, we use the distance formula, but also this could be quite obvious, but let's still do it out. Let's do it out and then we can see if we were right. Well, my theory is that the distance is just four because zero to zero, it's zero. And then plus four minus zero, it's four. And then just four here. But I mean, let's just do it out and see if, um, if we're right. Okay, so. Recall the distance formula, do you remember? It will be x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus and then oh, minus 1 da, da, and then sub square root of that. Okay, so this is our distance formula. So we have two points, right? So the first point I'm going to I'm going to say that x sub 2 is 0. I'm going to say this is the sec the second point. And this is the first point. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 0 minus 0. That's 0. And then 4 minus 0. That's going to be 4 squared. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, I want to bring... I want to times everything by the square so I can get rid of the square root. But if I do that, I also have to do the same thing on the other side. So I get this. And I have 0 minus 0, it's just 0. And then 4 minus 0, it's 4. But to the square, we have 16, right? Oh, so how do we do this? Well, if we just take the square root of 16, okay. Four, but I mean we have plus and minus but for this case we're gonna just consider the positive 4 because we're talking about we're positive 4 for distance so yes our theory was right the distance from 0 to 0 to 0 to 4 is um, is 4 okay so um, so now we can say that, let me erase this really quick. Okay, so the distance all around this equilateral triangle is four, four and four. But we want to find this, this vertex right here. We don't know what this point is, but we want to find it with the given information that we have. We know that the distance from each, uh, the two points is four, and we are given the two points. So there are uh, ways to solve for this. So let's do uh, let's do the first approach. So the first approach is that I can I don't know what this is. I don't know what the point of this is, but I'm going to label it as x and y, or you can label it as any letters that you want, or it could be. B and A and B, but I'm going to say it's X and Y. So we are going to use the distance formula to find out what the third vertex is. Oh, let's recall, right? You know, recall your, this is actually pretty good practice that I erased that so I can, I mean, we can all practice along with it, but I mean, I have to rewrite it, but it's good that I erased it so you can you can possibly rewrite it yourself on your end. 
um, as you go along with this. Because the more you write down, the more the, that's that's another extra practice that you get. Oh, okay, so oh, okay. Remember, we want we want all of this to become second nature to ourselves. So okay, so let's do this. So so the first thing I want to do, I want to find. I want to do this part first. Okay. So I have these two points. This is my first point and this is my second point. I don't know what X and Y is, but that's okay. Let's just plug it into the distance formula. So we have D equals that and then we have this, right? So I'm gonna say X, I'm gonna say zero, zero is my X sub two and X sub one. So it's gonna be this minus that. Oh, haha, <laughs> look at that. I made a mistake. Okay, so it's 0 minus 1 squared. All right? Okay, well, let's solve for this. Whoa, 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 what do we know about this? We know that the distance from these two points is 4. So we have 4, but we want to, I want to get rid of the square root. So instead of 4, I actually have 4 to the square, or 16. Okay, so let's do this 0 minus x squared. That's just x squared plus y squared. Okay, so this is our first equation. Okay, let's label this as first equation. So this is the first. We don't we don't have the two points yet, but we're in the process of finding it. Uh, we're closer because we got the first equation. So let's do the other side where the two points are. 0, 4, and x and y, right? Okay, so. Okay, so let's put this into, we also know that the distance is 4 to the square, so it's, it's also going to be 16. And we have 0 minus x, right? Square plus, I just got rid of the square root by uh, multiplying square on both sides. So now the next thing is that 4, because it's we're doing 0, 4. 4 minus y to the square. So this is just going to be x squared. But what about this one? Well, from your algebra class, let's... Let's break this into 2, because we know that's 4 minus y, and then we get... We actually get this. I'll write it out. This is the equivalent of that one. Okay, so now we're left with this algebraic thing that we have to figure out. So let's figure it out. What's, let's multiply this out. 4 times 4 is... Uh, it's going to be 16. And then 4 times negative y, it's going to be 4. And then the same thing, and then squared. All right, so I see something. If you don't see it, let's simplify this. Okay. Oh, well, if I, let's bring, let's bring, let's combine like terms. So I'm gonna bring the negative 16 over. So I get zero equals square minus, yeah, minus y, eight y plus y square. Interesting. Okay, so I'm left with this. Can I do anything else? Uh, I don't think so. But this is going to be our second equation. Let's refer back to the first equation because I think I saw something. Oh, so we have the first equation and the second equation. What can we do? Uh, we could use systems of equations. Yes, so for the first equation, let's isolate one. Let's say that x squared equals uh, 16 minus y squared. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is from our first equation. I just rearranged it where x, I could isolate one term on the side. Oh, what do I see? Oh, wow. This is perfect. Okay, so let's plug that into our second equation. So x squared is it, it's 16 minus y squared minus 8y plus y squared. Interesting. Oh, I see something. I cancel this out and then I get 16 minus 8y uh, equals, what do I get? It goes zero, right? But I want to I solve for y. 
So, why?